All right, today is Mississippi chicken. I know West Virginia um, doesn't really have a whole lot to do with Mississippi, but that's the name of the recipe. But I will tell you that there are several rivers in West Virginia, and one of them is the Greenbrier River, and I took some notes so I wouldn't get this right, wrong. Um, the Greenbrier River is a tributary for the uh, New River, which goes into the Mississippi. Um, there's several camping, hiking, rail trails, and all this in, um, well, all over West Virginia. But I'm going to talk about Hinton, West Virginia, where the Greenbrier River <clears throat> goes through there. Every second Saturday in the summer, they call it Second Saturday in Hinton. Uh, they have like artisan and flea markets, uh, artisan, you know, things um, made, you know what I'm saying. Um, they also, it's like a little flea market fair thing. Um, it's really fun. And they have a float down the Greenbrier River. And you can bring your own tubes and rafts. You can rent some there. Um, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, the kids love it. Adults love it. It's just, it's called Color the River, and it's uh, on the second Saturday of every month. Um, let me see. I want to tell you about the rail trails, 78 miles of a former railroad, which was CNO Railroad. There's 35 bridges and two tunnels, uh, and there's a few state parks in that area. So, we are going to make... Mississippi chicken. You can also do Mississippi roast. I use um, two to four chicken breasts today. I use two. Uh, this is going to be hunk of hunk's lunch. Uh, so you use however many chicken breasts. I mean, after four chicken breasts, you need to double the other ingredients. Um, the recipes that I started making this with called for a stick of butter, which I just totally leave that out now because just a thousand calories we don't need. So, put your chicken breast in there. If you have, uh, you know, thighs, whatever, you know, it, it, whatever you have, you know, I am whatever you have. I bought uh, a big thing of chicken breast, and there's four big chicken breasts in there. So, two are going to go in here. This is a day I don't have any commitments outside of the house. So, you know, it's a domestic goddess day. Cook a bunch, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, we use two of those breasts in this recipe. And after a while, um, if you want to come back, I'm going to show you how to use the other two chicken breasts to make, to serve at least four servings. So, that is five bucks a meal plus the vegetables or whatever. Okay, so, I use the Instapot. It takes an hour or you can put the chicken breast in uh, and all the ingredients in a crock pot on high for four or low for eight so it can, you know, go while you're at work or whatever. All right, so I've already done the chicken. And get a pot holder. Um, I usually do this inside the, the pot here. But today, so you can see, um, whoops, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, you put one package of ranch dressing, dry ranch dressing, one packet of Oju, A-U-J-O-U-S, um, in the Instapot, absolutely no water. And then you're going to put a jar of pep pepperoncini, P-E-P-P-E-R-O-N-C-I-N-I, -I, the whole jar, juice and everything. If you want it spicy, use jalapenos, hot uh, bananas. If you have other medium bananas or whatever, that in there. However you want to do it. Um, you're going to have a dog's barking because hunk of hunk is almost here. Um, so let's get that out of the way. Find my beaters. So, oh, he's here. Um, you know, get your beaters in there. This is the way I shred up like barbecue and you know, whatever. I use, let's get some of these peppers out of here. Hey, hunka hunka, come over and say hi. Huh? Hey, hey, hi guys. All right, so, oh, put the mixer in there and just, and just shred, shred the chicken. You can leave some of the peppers in there if you want to. I usually salt, but there is a few in here. All right, we're shredding that up. It doesn't take very long. Like I 
like I said, you can do this for beef roast, pork roast, or whatever you make your barbecue out of. This is how I shred meat. Path of least resistance. You can use any kind of bread you want. This is also good, just like it is, like on a salad, if you're watching carbs, just like the meat version of your meal uh, with some roasted vegetables or whatever. I have these brioche hot dog buns that Hunka Hunka is going to get with his stuff. So what I do is I have my little toaster oven pan here. I just open up. You can use hoagie buns. You can use sandwich bread. You can use whatever you want. Um, I need something to get this out. It's usually juicier than this, but I forgot to put the pepperoncinis in there until it was like half done. Um, Alright, so put all your shredded chicken in there like that. You put any cheese on it you want. Hunk of hunk of like Swiss. So we're going to put the Swiss in there. Um, then we're going to put it in the toaster oven just long enough for the cheese to melt. So here we go. Woo. Oh, you know, it would be great if I had the toaster oven plugged in. Okay. So, oh, check this shirt out. I love t-shirts that have a <laughs> message. And, um, this is for my ER days, you know, I mean seriously um you know well that's about it i was hoping to have the cheese melted so you could see the end product uh but you know that's not gonna happen because the toaster oven wasn't plugged in but trust me it gets all melty on there um you can do it on you know open face sandwich bread if you want you know miracle whip mayo you know whatever put that on the other side it's really a versatile recipe. And like I said, you could do it with a roast too. The ingredients are just the same. Um, and it's very, very good. So enjoy your Mississippi chicken and come to see West Virginia. Um, there's all kinds of things you could do in the summer here and in the winter. But we're going to talk summer. And it mostly has to do with the lakes and rivers, ob obviously. So if you're going through um, an area that's near Hinton, just take a little side trip um you could go camping up there it's cheap i saw like 15 dollars a night i mean seriously take your kids out there throw them in the river and you're gonna have a good time all right i'll see you later for the other two chicken breasts and we'll make a dinner out of that all right thank you